What's going on guys, I'm with the Moose and welcome to game number one of the MVP series. This is the first placement game for me, I guess you want to call it. Uh, basically these games, if you guys don't remember, um, and you should also click the uh, little eye in the top right if you haven't seen episode one of this series, you definitely got to check that out. But um, basically in this series, I have to play five placement games and in those games, I'm trying to score a lot of runs and trying to make plays with my MVP player who happens to be 98 overall Adrian Beltre coming up right now. And uh, if I do that, I can get stubs and unlock better players. Now, Beltre strikes out right here. That's not good. That's negative 2,000 stubs for us in this one. If we can actually, you know, pull out a win and get some uh, actual stubs, uh, you know, we're going to have 2,000 knocked off of it because we struck out with him uh, right there. So that is ideally not what we want to do. We want to avoid Ks with Beltre. We want to hit, you know, singles, doubles, homers. Uh, and honestly, just don't strike out. That's the key. And I shouldn't strike out that often because he is a 98 overall. But I did right there, and that's a little unfortunate. Right here, he gets a base hit with Yogi Berra, then bunts him over with Gaylord Perry. Very good uh, fundamental sound baseball right there. Ichiro Suzuki up next. Hits one pretty far to right field. Uh, you know, we make the catch with Matt Kemp. Gun it in, and I think we have a chance at Yogi at third. He slides in, though, just barely safe. And uh, now we have a little bit of work to do. Walk uh, Mike Trout right here. There's no way I'm facing Mike Trout. If I can avoid it uh, with, the, with first base open, I'm letting him take the free pass down to first. And uh, I'll take my chances with the next hitter up. Mike Trout is just way too dangerous. Anthony Rizzo up next. We jam him on a nice cutter inside. Adam Wainwright's cutter is absolutely disgusting, especially to lefties. And we get out of the jam right there and still secure the 0-0 game. Now Beltre up next in uh, the fourth inning here, and he strikes out another slider, so two Ks, and that's negative 4,000 stubs for us. We are not looking good to start it off. And like I said, definitely check out the um, you know episode zero is what we called it, uh, the first episode of the series to make sure you know all the rules and exactly how we get our stubs in these. Now we hit one a really long way to left field with VMart right here. I thought this one was out of here. Not quite. It bounces into the stands for a ground rule double. Would have been a double anyway. No way he's getting a third. VMart is just way too slow. Now 3-0 count with Kendra Morales right here. And we're going to take a walk that's also going to get away, but not quite. Got to hold up and don't go to third. It would definitely would have been thrown out at third by Yogi Berra right there. And the next guy up, Shin Su Chu. He strikes out on a high fastball. Nice pitch. And uh, sadly, we go down with uh, you know a great chance, but couldn't score. Now Kendra Morales getting a base hit right here in the seventh inning. Got to like that. You know, not a lot of speed, but we're trying to take second on it. This is a really tough play for him to get to second on, but he does a great hustle job right there to get to second base. We also pinch run Jared Dyson to get him out there. And then Shin Su Chu, first pitch, nasty, high fastball, can't catch up to it. Next pitch, dirty, sweeping curveball, you know, really not looking good in this at-bat against K-Rod. And then next pitch, 0-2, fastball right down the middle. Shin Su Chu launches to center field. I thought this one was way farther than it ended up going, but still Trout couldn't go get it. Jared Dyson easily coming in from second base. Chu chugging around second base, getting into third, and we are taking the lead in this one. Every single run we score is 5,000 stubs for us, so that will make up for the two Ks that Beltre, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, gave us so far. Now Jason Worth down the left field line to the third baseman. He also had Adrian Beltre. Makes a nice play at third, and we cannot score that run from third base. Really looking to try to, you know, tack another run on here if we can do just that. Now Mike Aviles takes an intentional walk. This is all with no outs until that Worth play, of course. Uh, Avilius takes the walk. We bring in Fred McGriff to pinch hit, but then he brings in Andrew Miller to face McGriff, you know, the lefty on lefty matchup. And instead of having that, McGriff not very good against lefties, we're going to bring in Logan Forsyth instead. Thought about Franco or McCann, but we brought in Forsyth as the option here. And looking for at least a fly ball, you know, get that run in from third. Don't really need anything too crazy, just a fly ball, get one into the outfield, and uh, we're going to be in business. So we're looking, you know, kind of middle in somewhere around there get a pretty good pitch to hit a little bit higher than I was wanting in that zone and we pop out to the catcher Yogi Berra that was a terrible pinch hit right there definitely not what we wanted to see now right here Jose Altuve I kind of bunt cheese that I'm not gonna lie but then again this guy did have his third baseman playing back against Jose Altuve who has 93 speed if I see that I'm gonna bunt I know it's a little cheesy I know old guys hate that and stuff like that but if you're playing him back why would I not bunt I guess is what I'm trying to say so we get another run in there like I said I know it's a little bit cheesy but that's how I went with it. Now, right here, Carter caps in in the ninth. We throw in past, um, you know, VMAR to catcher, and he's not the best catcher in the world. So we bring in uh, Brian McCann. That's going to be something I do in these videos uh, pretty much from now on. You guys will probably notice that, that I try to get McCann in there in the ninth as a little bit of a better defensive catcher. We strike out Adrian Belcher right there, one down in the ninth. Rod Crew up next. We make a pretty nice pitch. I think it was a curveball or a slider down low, but he fishes it out, gets a single up the middle. So they got the uh, tying run coming up to the plate here, uh, you know, looking to see if they can get on. 
on the board and you know get make this a ball game we throw a, a wild slider outside and McCann didn't help us out there uh, although that was a pretty bad pitch so definitely uh, you know not on him but we do strike out Ernie Banks with the next pitch high fastball inside very nice I noticed that Yogi Berra absolutely destroys right handers so I walk him that's going to get us up to the pitcher now uh, he pinch hits Jared Saltalamacchia, who I remember is a nasty hitter against righties, has crazy stats. So I go to Tony Watson, who's warming up in the pen, our lefty specialist out there, to try to get uh, Saltalamacchia out here. <laughs> that is the goal, of course. Two down, two guys on, a home run, and we're losing. A base hit in the gap, and we're probably losing. Now we throw into the dirt, first pitch. That could have been terrible. Could have had two guys in scoring position. That, thank God, Brian McCann was down there, and he was able to make that play. Now next pitch, or a couple pitches later, he hits one right to the shortstop. A great swing on the ball. Really nice hit, but we were right there, and we get the victory. Two to nothing. That is very, very nice. I'll show you guys the stub breakdown in a little bit right here. Adam Wainwright, though, player of the game, pitched a very solid game, seven innings, and uh, I really like him out there. So here's the stub breakdown. For scoring two runs, we get 5,000 per run. That's 10,000 stubs right there. For winning the game, we get 5,000 stubs. But then we for striking out three times with Dutcher, I didn't even show you the third strikeout with him. You get negative 2,000 for each one. That's negative 6,000. All told, we get 9,000 stubs for this game. So let me know what you guys think I should use uh, for those stubs. All of my players except for Beltre are silvers. So let me know down in the comments down below. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.